Leadership isn't restricted to title or position. It's about tapping into your inner greatness and serving others at the highest level. Whether you're a sales rep, a marketing manager, a school teacher, stay-at-home parent, an entrepreneur, coach, clerk, it, it doesn't really matter what your title is. It's inside of you. It's who you are. And honestly, it's a decision. I have a uh, concept called servant ownership. Much like stewardship or an enterprise mindset, it's about moving beyond yourself. It's about elevating your thinking to a global level and seeing the world strategically and how you can serve at the greatest level. It combines your ability to serve others with your whole heart while taking complete ownership of what's right in front of you. Much like Simon Sinek's idea of leaders eat last, it's that shift to putting others first and taking on the greater good as your duty. Servant ownership and being a great leader is not about becoming who I want you to be or who they want you to be. It's about becoming the leader you were meant to be through the willingness to accept the journey ahead. When I do my leadership training, whether for positional leaders or for sales teams, the idea of combining service with ownership usually resonates the most. And it's in that intersection that most breakthroughs occur and you realize how simple great leadership can be. So decide, step into your destiny because you already have the ability to be a great leader inside. Make a list of three things that you can do to serve or help others today. Then take full ownership of completing those items. Now at first, it'll feel forced, but over time it will become part of your DNA. And we see these everyday heroes everywhere, right? The, the waiter who goes out of their way to create an incredible experience for you while lifting up his co-workers in the process. You know, the customer service agent who says, I'm going to own this process and we're going to find a solution together. The teacher who takes that standard curriculum and builds in new and exciting experiences that explode their students' creativity and imagination, or the sales rep who schedules additional follow-up meetings with his prospect to help ensure they fully understand next steps and the full value of the offering. Look, these are simple examples of servant ownership on display all around us. And now it's your turn. How are you combining your ability to serve others with the commitment to own the entire solution or project or experience? Create that list and get to work. Look, others are waiting for the greatness that only you can provide. They need your service and ownership. So show them what great leadership and what servant ownership looks like. Remember, you have the power to shape your destiny. So go out there and make it happen.